Hey guys, welcome back. I'm John Rustling. This is Rustling Cooks. Let's get started. All right guys, for today we're gonna to be doing a bit of a dual cook. I'm gonna be cooking our armadillo eggs on both the Kamado Joe for about a two hour uh, smoke infused uh, cook. And I'm also gonna be cooking a different set on my standard grill over here. I'm anticipating a better flavor out of this. You know, it just depends on your time. So if you got time to smoke it for a couple of hours, great. But if you are looking for a shorter, faster cook uh, for evening dinner or something, then the standard grill might be best for you. So I'm gonna do both, and at the end, we're gonna taste them both and compare the flavors for you. So stick with me to the end. For my Kamado setup today, I'm gonna be using some B&B Texas style hickory lump coal, and I've got some hickory uh, wood chunks that I'm gonna sprinkle in here as well. This is gonna be about a two and a half hour cook, so I'm going to uh, stack up appropriately, and uh, we'll get the fire going and get this sucker ready to go. ingredients are really pretty straightforward. I've got some fresh jalapenos that we're gonna get prepped in a second, Mexican blended cheese, some Philadelphia cream cheese. I've got some hickory smoked sausage and I'm gonna be using some hamburger meat as well to make two different uh, uh, flavors of, uh, of eggs and just salt and pepper. So let's get this stuff prepped and we'll get everything on the grill. All right guys, so the first step here is we're going to uh, take the top off of these jalapenos and then we're gonna uh, spoon them out to get the uh, seeds and all the insides out. Once those are ready to go, uh, we'll set them aside and we'll move on to the next step. So I'm just gonna cut off the uh, top right here just like that. By the way, I always recommend uh, wearing gloves when you're working with the jalapenos like this. Um, I have had these get into my uh, fingers, around my fingernails, and it can really sting and burn for a period of time. So I always recommend. Also, if you've got a really tiny spoon like a uh, a uh, coffee uh, stirring spoon or something like that uh, that works even smaller than this, that, that's probably best. So this one's nice and hollowed out now and uh, that one's ready for uh, cream cheese to be loaded in it. So we'll do these other four and we'll move on. Okay guys, I've got these all prepped now. They've been hollowed out and they're ready to go. Tops are off, of course. Um, you may be asking yourself, why didn't you just cut them and easier to scoop them out? And the main reason I don't do that is because whenever you put the cheese in there and it's cooking, uh, I wanna keep the cheese inside the center of the egg, inside the jalapeno. So the next step, I've got some cream cheese and I've got some uh, Mexican style blended shredded cheese. So I'm gonna mix these two things together. And once I got a good mix, then I'm gonna put them in the jalapenos. Now, on the cream cheese, it's gonna really help a lot if you let this soften up a little bit. What I typically do is I'll leave it out on the counter for about 30 minutes or so, and it usually softens up. I'm gonna dump the cream cheese and get it all mixed up. Now when it comes time to uh, stuff these, they'll take you some of your cream cheese and uh, roll it up like this. Make like a little uh, a tube of cheese. And then it's real easy to uh, shove down into the bottom of the jalapeno. Okay, my jalapenos are ready to go, so I'm gonna get the meat ready now and we'll get these eggs uh, finished up and get them ready for the grill. For the meat today, I'm gonna be doing some hamburger meat and I'm gonna be doing some sausage. So I've got the hamburger meat out here already. Now for that, I'm going to put some salt and pepper on it. On the sausage, the sausage is typically gonna be seasoned enough, so I'm not gonna fool with that. But for the hamburger meat, I do want some salt and pepper. So we'll just sprinkle uh, a good coating of salt first. Okay, and I only use fresh cracked pepper whenever I am seasoning my meat. So we got some fresh pepper here. In Texas, we like a lot of pepper. So don't be shy with the pepper. Flip it over and we'll get some more pepper on the other side. Put just a little more salt on this side as well. Mix that all together.
All right, so I got my hamburger meat and I got my sausage ready to go. The hamburger meat's nice and seasoned up. Okay, for the uh, wrapping now for this next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some hamburger meat and uh, I'm going to uh, make it flat, kind of like a, a pancake, I guess. And this is gonna be the outer shell of my egg. Just roll your jalapeno like this, roll it up in the hamburger meat. And then just round over your edges there, get a good, uh, a good seal. You don't want any, any of the pepper showing through. You want it to be completely wrapped. And there's our first armadillo egg right there, ready to go. All right, we'll set that aside. We got our, uh, our sausage uh, armadillo egg. So we're gonna set that one aside. All right guys, there we go. So I've got uh, three uh, beef uh, armadillo eggs and I've got six sausage or pork uh, armadillo eggs. So we're gonna split these up. So let's take these out to the grill and get them cooking. All right guys, to get this thing up to temp, I've had the uh, bottom uh, open here uh, about a, an inch, inch and a quarter, something like that. And I've just had my top cracked just a little bit to let enough uh, airflow to get me at right around 225. All right guys, as you can see, I've got my ceramic discs at the, in the bottom uh, uh, level down here and I'm gonna put my other racks up on the top level uh, and that's what we're gonna be cooking for some indirect cooking. So uh, we'll get this rack on and we'll bring the meat out. All right guys, it's been about an hour and a half. The uh, eggs on the Joe are doing really good, so we're getting close on those. It's, it's about time now to go ahead and put our other two eggs. I kept two for the grill here, so these are our standard cook without any smoke. Um, so I've set my grill up here for some indirect cooking as well. So I've got my two center burners are turned off and I'm using my outside burners to get a temperature of just around 330, 340, something like that. I'm gonna actually try to bring it back down to around 325. I don't wanna go too fast. But we're gonna go ahead and put the eggs on here. We'll give it about 30, 45 minutes. We'll cut into these babies. We got no fire underneath them. We just got fire on both sides. Uh, we're gonna close that puppy up and give it about 30 minutes and we'll come and check. All right guys, so the eggs have been going on the grill now for about 40 minutes or so, so I think they're ready here. Uh, we're gonna check these. If they are ready, we're gonna pull them off and then we're gonna check the ones that are on the uh, Joe. Those will be about ready as well. So let's see here, we'll open it up. Yeah, they look really good here. So uh, let's just get the thermometer in and uh, take, ooh, careful, careful there. Yeah, we got 164 right there on the beef. Yeah, yeah, so these are both ready. We're gonna pull these off. And we're gonna keep these separate here, although it's gonna be easy to tell visually come from the Joe, the difference. But I got my sausage, I got my beef on the inside, sausage on the outside. Let's get over to the Joe now. All right, so we'll open the Joe up carefully here. And uh, yes, yeah, so those, uh, they look good. And there's definitely a difference visually uh, on these. So uh, let's get the temperature reading on this. Yep, nice, 164, that's sausage. Let's try these beef ones here. Yep, those are looking good as well. Let's get these off and get them inside. All right guys, so I've got these off of the grill here now and I've let them sit for about five minutes or so, uh, maybe a little bit longer, uh, just to let everything sort of settle. Always like to let my cooks rest for a few minutes after I get them off the grill. I have the sausage on this side and I have the beef on this side. Um, the um, Darker ones are the ones that were on the uh, Kamado. So we're gonna cut into all of these and I'm gonna have a bite of each one and I'll tell you about the uh, uh, turnout, what the flavor, the difference. I'm imagining some texture differences, all sorts of things. The, right now, visually, you'll notice that the uh, ones that were cooked on the Joe, that were smoked, they're gonna be a little bit darker, uh, whereas these other ones are a little bit lighter. You've got more of sort of a bark, if we'll call it that, sort of a bark on the, uh, the uh, eggs that came off of the Joe. Uh, so I'm also wondering about the jalapeno inside, how soft it's going to be, or what kind of which ones. If we're going to have a difference in terms of the uh, the texture or the crunchiness of the jalapeno. So let's cut into these and uh, have a look here and uh, and see what they look like. So and this is the sausage that came off of the 
the gas grill. All right, they look about the same on the inside, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, have a bite. See what they taste like. Mm, that's really good. Um, certainly, you can taste the hickory smoke on that, so that's really good. I like that. Uh, the jalapeno's got a little bit of a crunch to it. It's not um, uh, overpowering. It's not like real, real crunchy, but it's a little bit of a crunch to it. Cheese is nice and melted. It's real nice texture on the inside. All right, let's cut into the uh, the egg that came off of the gas grill. Mm. Very nice. These are both sausage. These are both very good. Got, of course, a sausage flavor. The, uh, the, the egg that came off of the Joe, of course, it's got more of a smoky flavor, so you can taste it more of the hickory flavor in that one. Uh, it's a little more, the, the one that came off of the grill is a little more tender, uh, so, but they're both delicious, really. Uh, so let, let's go ahead and cut into the uh, beef egg now, and let's have a look here. This is the beef that came off of the Joe. Looks like it's holding together a little better than the uh, sausage did. And let's cut into the beef that came off of the gas grill. All right, let's go ahead and cut into uh, the beef that came off of the Joe. Mm. The hickory really comes through stronger on the beef than it did on the sausage for some reason mm, it's really good really good and really carries the hickory smoke flavor with it all right let's uh, have a bite of the uh, beef on the gas grill or should i say from the gas grill that one kind of came apart but it's okay kind of reminds me of a jalapeno burger the uh the gas grill beef egg kind of like a yeah, kind of like a jalapeno burger. So I think if I, you know, the texture on the inside is about the same across the board, really. There's a little bit of crunch, uh, but not, not so much as you feel like it's raw, the jalapeno is cooked. Um, so it, it's really good. The cheese is melted throughout. It's really warm and nice on the inside. Great flavor, by the way. I think if I had to pick my favorite, I would pick the Joe Smoked Beef Armadillo Egg and maybe the, the gas grilled sausage egg. Uh, I prefer the, the sausage on the gas grill for some reason. Uh, it, it just, it just, the taste was a, a little different. Again, the, the gas grilled beef was more of like a, uh, a jalapeno burger, and so that's not what I was going for, right? So the Joe smoked uh, beef armadillo egg and the gas grilled sausage armadillo egg were probably my two favorites. With that said, guys, they're all delicious. They're great. Uh, I'm going to cut these up and sit down and have a meal with these. Uh, but these are good. Listen, if you haven't tried this recipe, guys, I, I really recommend it. This is a great recipe for a family gathering or a party. These can be sort of uh, pre-meal uh, appetizers, or they can absolutely be the main course, no doubt about it. All right, guys, that's another cook in the books. I want to thank you for spending time with me today. This recipe turned out really good, so try it for yourself. Uh, leave some comments down at the bottom. After you try it, let me know how it turned out for you. Uh, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And also consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be notified of my future cooks. I got a lot of cooks coming up, so I'd love to see you back. Thanks, guys.